The Prime Minister arrives at a Berlin airport to attend the final session of the Big Three Conference. With him comes his Foreign Minister, Mr. Bevin. At the Cecilienhof Palace, former home of the German Crown Prince Little Willie, Mr. Attlee returns to the conference table, not as an observer this time, but as the new member of the Big Three. Mr. Bevin, in Mr. Eden's old chair, is the new face at the table. The final scenes at the conference that laid down the terms of Germany's future. No army, navy or air force, no arms industry, reparations to be paid. Rightly severe terms that seek to make peace secure for all time. In Plymouth Sound, in the veteran battlecruiser Renown, the King had his first meeting with President Truman, who came aboard by launch from the American cruiser Augusta. Appropriately, this historic meeting took place within sight of the spot from which the Pilgrim Fathers set sail for New England nearly three centuries ago. Guard of Honor of the Royal Marines parades for inspection on the quarterdeck. Accompanying the President were Mr. James Burns, his Secretary of State, and Admiral Leahy. After lunching aboard, Mr. Truman returned to the Augusta, his journeyings witnessed by holidaymakers from the heights of Plymouth Hoe, where Drake once played his famous game of bowls. From renown, silver grey in her far eastern battle paint, the king went aboard the Augusta, grim in slate-coloured camouflage. A guard of American marines did the honours. The king and the president talked for several minutes before parting, each expressing the hope that they would soon meet again. Returning with the king to the renown was Lord Halifax. After His Majesty left, the Augusta was headed out to sea on her homeward journey. From Renown's deck, the King watched her go.